Sexalicious, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is a big day because today is the day I finally am going to watch Midsummer. I actually did a reaction video to Hereditary a year ago and then here recently I finally got around to making um, sort of a breakdown of my thoughts of the movie Hereditary um, which then prompted people to start asking me again when I was going to watch and do a reaction video to Midsummer. So uh, today's that day. Oh and spoilers by the way. Uh, but the only thing that I heard was somebody told me it's like a really aggressive breakup movie. So, uh, and then somebody also told me that it's disturbing but not necessarily scary. So, um, knowing Ari Aster, um, there will be uh, no shortage of disturbing and weird. Um, in my spare time in the last year, I actually watched all of his short films. So if you've never gone down that rabbit hole, treat yourself and go check out his short films. Um, but, uh, but I'm excited about this and let's get into the weirdness because, you know, with Ari Aster, it's definitely going to be fucking weird. All right. God, this is going to be fucked up, isn't it? This is very fairy tale like. Need a little harp. Okay. That was ultra theatrical. That doesn't sound fucking good. Shit. You respond the more she's encouraged to keep no, this crap up. The sister's gonna kill herself just and kill their parents. Because it's an Ari Aster movie. Okay. See you later. Yeah. Okay. Bye, Mark. Bye, Mark. <laughs> okay. I love you. All right. God, this is like every conversation I had in my twenties with boyfriends. Him, and he thinks that I just have too much baggage. Well, if then I he's not the guy for you. That's what that means. I, I went too far. If I leaned too much. No. Didn't. Yeah, but what if I need him too often and it becomes a chore? Then he's not the right guy for you. Hey. Danny. Babe. <laughs> Shit. Jesus. God, Ari Aster really knows his, like, screaming, in torment, crying factor. 
Look out the window, there's a tree house. What? <laughs> God damn, I already like this movie. <laughs> He's so fucking good at just like grabbing you by the face and pulling you in. This is definitely going to re require a second viewing since I was already interested in the artwork in her apartment, but I was kind of drawn into the action, so. Like that. It's really interesting artwork. And... I, I just find it highly unlikely that he's not hiding stuff in the background, you know? <laughs> um, I invited Danny to come to Sweden. So you guys know. <laughs> but she's not actually going to come, but I invited her. Just to not make it weird. That's also not cool to your friends! I invited her, mm -hmm. too. But she's not coming. She doesn't want to? I invited her, and she accepted, but she's not actually coming this week. Right. Okay. Guys, you know what she's been going through. Yeah, no, dude, I just, I, I, uh, sorry. You're saying, yeah, dude, nobody minds. I thought you were saying something else. That's all. Okay, that's great. And just so we're clear, you guys told me to invite her, and you all know that she's coming. Great. Yep. Hey. Hey, no. hey guys. Hey. Yo. Hey. How's it going? We're chilling. Nice. Hey. Oh, Sweden. <laughs> yeah. You're coming, right? I mean, I. I guess so. That's not completely ruining your guys' plans. Oh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> That was a great transition onto the plane, though, through the door. Oh, she's not really coming. Just kidding. <laughs> yeah, that little Swedish guy is totally fishing them in for something. I don't know exactly what we're in for, but I think maybe they're all going to be, like, sacrifices in some kind of ritual or something. I shouldn't let hereditary color my uh, my viewing experience, but I like the shitty friend who pressures you into doing something, and then when you finally break, is like, "Are you sure it's okay, motherfucker? You know she wasn't comfortable with it." What do you mean? What do you mean? That can't be right. The sky's blue. It's fine. It's Sweden. That's not fine. Why is it like that? It's okay, Nora. It's the midnight sun. That feels wrong. I don't like that. <laughs> I promise you, it's, it's okay. It's freaking out. I'm not okay. This is very happy. We're leaving the main road, are we? Hmm. That'll be easy to find our way back if we're, say, running away for some reason. <laughs> uh, uh. Oh! <laughs> that looks real nice. I would totally go there. Strolls <laughs> and a cow. Oh, 
honestly, this all seems legit. If it were for the fact that I know it's probably a creepy movie and weird shit's gonna go down, this all seems really neat, actually. I would totally go to a place like this. And yeah, they seem a little isolated and stuff, and it don't seem like weird or icky or anything. They're all like exceptionally happy, but I think that probably has to do with how much drugs they take. Ah. Hi. What's up? So hug me now. Into hug you. Into hair. No further introduction, just a close up of that person finger painting. Okay. So hug me now. What's the kids word? Skin the fool. Skin the fool. Yeah. <laughs> Skin the fool. Right. So, somebody's getting flayed in this movie. Hmm. Hey, Phil, can anyone just join in? Oh, you're an American, just jam yourself in there. Hmm. Right. Hey. Happy birthday. Oh my gosh, Pele. It's just something I do for birthdays. Maybe it's not appropriate. No, 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 not at all. Thank you so much. It's anyway. beautiful. <laughs> anyway, just between us. Well, Kristen forgot anyways. This is me. Oh. No, He's totally no, sweet no, on her. I forgot to remind him, and it's, it's not his fault. It's... Never mind. It's okay. Maybe. But this is this is beautiful. Thank you so much. I really do. Am I the only one getting that? Yeah, he's kind of like giving her the look, right? Lumbering, linen, homeopathic, water power plant. It's uh, like a sacred temple, but no one's allowed in there. Uh, let me show you where we sleep. So what's in there? Let me show you the room twelve. Hmm. Maybe they're trying so to get bitches up in this place. That and there's a bear. That's... What's Why? That? We can check it out. Yeah. Miscellaneous bear. Okay. Pussy. <laughs> Ew. Wait. <laughs> what? A little love story? Is that what he said? Oh, wow. I'm sorry, I'm trying to remember the images I just saw. So, something about her vagina and <laughs> like okay I don't know what that was but I get the impression that we're gonna see stuff with that happen again I wonder if the two brothers brought themselves wives because I think this dude is into Danny and I think that other guy was into the other British chick because he tried to ask her out on a date and then she ended up with the other dude. And that guy was kind of mean to him. Who's that? Hmm. They're just not good together. It's just not a great couple. Four years? You're with somebody four years and, like, you don't know if you want to spend the rest of your life with them? Cut them fucking loose. What the hell is in that fucking yellow triangle? I 
I feel like we're honoring them. Like we're honoring their life. She looks upset. These people are some kind of human sacrifice, aren't they? I wonder if they're 72. Because he was talking about how the end of the life cycle or something was 72. Yep. Do they kill him? At like a certain age or something? Kind of like that one episode of Star Trek where like that one race that didn't like live past like 50 or 60 or something like that to keep their their blood young or something like that. Some people look happy, some people look distraught. Yeah. I, I can see where we're going with this. Mm, this is about to get fucked up up in here, isn't it? the appropriate response. Do you see that chick? She's like, what's wrong? Oh! Oh! God damn it! Ugh, it's just fucking props. Ugh. Ugh. Okay, 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 okay. Alright. That, that wasn't so bad, right? Okay. Okay. I don't want to watch another one. The anxiety's the worst. It's the worst fucking part. <sighs> He's got to. It's their tradition, man. It's what they do. Oh. Yeah. Well, after his wife, though, you know, like, I think that's why they make, like, wives go first. And oh, no! Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Oh, shit! Oh! Hmm. I wish I didn't see that. Okay. Oh. oh, fuck, that's what to do with the hammers for. Why would you go down feet first? Oh. 
Well, I mean, it's probably better that way. Oh, really? Really, we need the close up? I did not need that insert. I think he got him. He's dead. Yeah. Yep, bail. Open to collaborating. All kinds of fuck you. Both do separate pieces on the Horgas. Wow. Never mind. You know. So let me he see. is a complete piece of shit. I was trying to give him some redeeming moments inside of his relationship with Danny, but he's a complete asshole. I may be off. Because I, I am proud of okay. this place. Okay, okay, but I'm not an anthropologist and I don't understand any of this. Yes, yes, I don't yes, care. I know, I know. And, and yet I was the most excited for you to come. I Here. bet you were. <laughs> Here, smell this. Does this smell like chloroform? <laughs> Sorry. No. He's totally trying to pitch his bid He's to get about. her to stay. He's my good friend and I like him, but... Annie, do you feel held by him? Does he feel like home to you? It's a fair question. Ah! Really? God damn it! God damn it! I was in the middle of a nice emotional scene, and then that happened. Oh, God, really? Do we have to just... Fuck you. Who is it? Uh... Okay, it's a dream, it's a dream, it's a dream. Okay, cool. Mm. No, I don't want to... Fuck, that's dark. Oh no! <laughs> he pissed on like the ceremonial tree or something. Yeah. So what? What did I say? I didn't know. No, it's that tree is, is tied to all of our dead. It's a dead tree, though. It's dead. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I know, but it's important to us. I just had to pee. I didn't know it was special. Oh. That guy's definitely gonna die. The jerk friend. We have to invite outside people so that way our bloodlines don't get fucked up and there's not too much incest running around. Yep. She say meat pies? She says she's so good. Oh, thank you. Hmm. Um, she, she's so good. Yeah, I've seen Sweeney Todd. <laughs> so, Simon Pies? Describe it like emotional sheep music. Fuck. Well, he draws, and we, the elders, interpret. You see, your Ruben is unclouded by normal cognition. Ah makes him open to the source. Uh, right. No. Absolutely not. Okay, sorry. Just kidding. Absolutely not. <laughs> sorry.
Uh. Who's screaming? Shit. The screaming is the fucking British girl who tried to leave anyways because she was like, fuck this noise, and so somebody killed her. And we're probably gonna run into her dead body later. Here, have some human pies. Thanks. Has anyone seen Connie? She fucking dead! Are they marks on her or Why does Christian's lemonade look different than everybody else's? I could see you possibly doing that. Yeah, I could totally see you fucking bailing on Danny, totally. What the hell does that mean? That you don't give a shit, that's what that means. Oh my god. That she's done with your happy ass. Oh. Dude, is he gonna kill me? I mean, yeah, probably. Did you learn anything about this movie? Daughter? Ah, gross! Okay, thank you. I know that thank one you. elder. Thank you, you. thank you. This. Sorry, I brought it up. So, Christian's lemonade totally has period blood in it. <laughs> That fucking, um, whatever, the mural thing that we saw at the beginning was, like, a chick, like, whatever, like, cutting things off of her pussy and then, like, getting her period blood and... Oh, my God, dude. What the fuck? And... Is that... What is that? Doing is something that with fucking pubic, pubic hairs. Yup. Pubic hair. Dude. Yeah. Oh, dude. It's that bitch who's trying to put a love so spell on him. Up. Look at those guys at the end of the table. The two brothers there, they know what the fuck's up, and they're like, <laughs> Yep. I see you. I see you. What trouble are you getting yourself into? Are you gonna go back and try to like you're gonna try to take pictures of their stuff aren't you when the guy told you no yeah something people can watch him through oh shit there's somebody in the oh what the fuck mark Um... Oh! God! God, that fucking scared me! What the hell? What is wrong with him? Oh, it's not him, it's his face on someone else. Skin the fool. Fuck. Mm. Oh, fuck. Yeah, he's... I don't think he's gonna make it. Well, that goes two of our guys. That scared the shit out of me. <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised. Well, that challenge, though. Come on, stay nice. 
too concerned. Of course you're not. You don't Why? care about anybody. What's that? Am I supposed to know what that is? Is this more, uh, more super drugs? Sweet. Let's get those psychedelics, man. Get that good shit. <laughs> this is the big one. Uh oh. Oh god. Here we go. <laughs> oh. Uh, it's so sweet that she's found some friends. That's great. What are we doing? What is this? Alright, so we're dancing. Cool. <laughs> okay. That was a real hard cut. So we're gonna set the bear on fire, I guess. Probably while it's still alive, based on what uh, was in that picture. How do I go about her help? You have improved the knowledge we have. Oh. You're an ideal astrological match. And she has fixed her hopes on you. Matchmaker, matchmaker, make me a match. <laughs> I think I ate one of her pubic hairs. She's like, yeah, totally. <laughs> okay. Alright, I get it. You uh you get high and then you dance in circles and you try not to fall over. <laughs> Some of these girls are wiping out. <laughs> it's the last one who doesn't fall over from kind of being dizzy and shit. Oh, wouldn't you know it, it's uh, Maya. Oh, what a coincidence. I think she took a fall on purpose because she wanted that American D. She's having a great time and Christian can't even be happy for her or think about anything outside of himself. She's totally gonna end up winning. Come on, get me with it. Elbow that other girl. Knock some bitch over. Like roller derby, right? Just like chunk, just like give him a shoulder. Yep. Yay! Woo! She won the dance off! In Sweden. <laughs> Yay! Oh. I really hope this isn't 
gonna like take a turn. Fuck you, dude. There's so much being told with like the staging on this. Like, she's ascending and leaving him behind. Like, moving on to her best life. Hi, guys. Oh, the food is breathing. Our flowers are breathing, too. I didn't even notice. <laughs> okay. I really hope they're not going to kill her. That's fucking crazy. Excuse me. What's going on? Oh, he's tripping hard. Okay. Alright. I thought he was just, like, stressing over, like, breaking up with her or something, but, uh... Oh, you are the family now. Yes? Yes, you are the family. It's a big thing. This is great. She's getting a new family. It's kind of cool, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Everybody gets paired off with somebody? It's a happy ending, right? Unlikely. I get what people are saying. Like, this movie's not really, like, boo scary. It's just, like, awkward and weird. And... But I don't feel as confused. Maybe it's because I've seen other, like, Ari Aster movies at this point. Or, well, there's short films and stuff, but, like... Yeah, it's not really scary, but it's definitely fucking weird. Is it just making him, like, wicked horny? <laughs> this like Swedish Viagra nice hat mask supposed to fuck all of them or something? Probably not. I didn't, I guess I didn't quite put together until a few minutes ago how on board with this, like, everybody in the village is. <laughs> I mean, I know they gave permission and stuff, but like... Respect male nudity in films. This is what he had in mind when he was gonna, like, fuck bitches in Sweden. <laughs> okay. We're all just gonna stay in the room for this shit? This is decidedly weird.
you could come that way, could you? Like, this is weird. <laughs> this is the weirdest orgy I've ever been to. And a random seer uh, watching also. <laughs> Y'all, I've, I've been to bondage clubs. I've, like, been in orgies. Like, that wasn't it. Like, that was weird shit. <laughs> I would leave. <laughs> But this, it's a special meeting only for the queens, and she will bless you. Okay. They're like all, like, moaning for the girl. That what, like, keep them in rhythm or something? Yeah. Is this where they break up? <laughs> Do we have enough reason yet? He's, he's fucking some chick in the other room and... Interesting. That's really cool, actually. It's like group therapy. I don't know what that is, though. <laughs> I guess, I guess it's all of them, I, what? I, fuck. I'm pretty sure he knows what to do, honey. Abuela doesn't think he's fucking her right. <laughs> Finally, just max out. Oh no! Great. Yes. Great. Hi. Fuck. This actor. I mean, I gotta give him mad props, dude. I mean, he's just going there with it. <laughs> this is so weird. That's a foot. Yeah. I can't believe he ran after he came. No, I can. I can believe that a guy would finish first and whoa! Ew. 
That's that guy. Oh, Simon. I thought they turned him into pie. I guess not. I guess they... What am I looking at here? Oh shit! Yeah, those are his lungs. And he is still alive. Mmm. Yeah, that's. He's gonna scream or something. Yeah, the motherfucker's alive. Oh! That's so pretty. For every new lad sacrificed in the great cycle. The four new bloods <laughs> have already been supplied. I didn't even notice him in the wheelchair over there. We have two already dedicated. Specially ordained. Bingo! Tourbjorn. Honorable Tourbjorn, please step forward. He just said that like it was a game show. <laughs> Patiently wait, your verdict. Oh. So she gets to choose whether or not Christian dies or some random fucking guy dies. And she just caught him fucking some girl. Oh yeah. Yeah, she's definitely picking you. <laughs> You know, I'm not as confused in this movie as I was with Hereditary the first time I watched it, but this is definitely wild. I guess... We get back to the bear. Ew. Were we practicing on the bear or something? Like, are they gonna disembowel Christian here? Inside of a bear suit? I'm going to set the bear on fire. Right? That is not an image I thought I was going to see in this film. Or ever, for that matter. That's probably for the best. I would not want to feel what's about to go down in there either. I wonder if Christian can feel anything. Oh yeah. 
Yeah, we're definitely doing this. That's interesting, that, that breath thing. You know, I almost feel bad for him. Like, I mean, I mean, I, I do, but I don't. <laughs> he was an asshole. I'm not sure he deserved to be burned alive, but, uh. That being said, I don't have a whole lot of sympathy for him. He was a jerk. I don't know. That penalty does seem pretty steep, though. Hey, I like how she's all tarted up now that she fucked somebody. <laughs> I wonder if that inhale exhale thing is kind of like an out with the old in with the new idea because they're going like <sighs> type of a thing. It's an interesting symbol of renewal, right? I can't believe this dude is going down by being burnt in a bear, in a bear, not a bear costume, inside of a bear. Can't, do, can't believe you guys volunteered for that gig. Oh, oh. Yeah, I guess those, uh, that yew tree situation didn't work out. I think you guys are taking this sharing the pain of your family thing a little too far, but it's probably really cathartic. Are you realizing this is what you signed on for? <laughs> so like, be a part of this team for the rest of your life? I mean, I guess she could go back to the States, but what does she have to go back to? That was an interesting smile. <laughs> Why does Ari Aster always have the weirdest fucking soundtrack to his credits? <laughs> it's like way too chipper. Okay. Well, let's talk about it. Um, thank you for suggesting it. Every single person who watched my hereditary review. Um, so my first initial thoughts, um, I really enjoyed it. Uh, I think it's, it's like this much lower than hereditary on the enjoyment level for me. Like hereditary was like an A plus and this was like an A minus. Like, um, I still really liked it, but it was just, uh, just a little bit less, um, compelling, um, as hereditary was, but, uh, but it's not always a competition. We're not always comparing everything. So, um, yeah, it was a solid film, incredible imagery. Uh, 
interesting. Like, that's that's the thing that I always keep coming back to with all of his work, is it's really interesting. Um, much like Hereditary, uh, it's going to require multiple watchings, and I'm going to need to um, spend a few viewings really checking out the background scenery and so many, like, the murals and, like, all the drawings and stuff. I'm sure they all mean things. That movie was crazy and uncomfortable and interesting. And I mean, some of it was just, like, other cultures, but it was also, like, um... It was interesting because her scenario was perfect for what she ended up with. Like, I mean, uh, her family's dead and she was trying to connect with Christian who was just done. And he was like, obviously he felt guilty um, after her family died. Like, I do get it. Like, I get that he was trying to like kind of do the right thing, I guess, but... I mean, when it came down to brass tacks, he was always, like, super selfish and a dick. So, um, so, like I said, I'm not entirely sure he deserved to get, uh, put inside of a, a scooped out bear and set on fire. That seems a little extreme, but, um, but yeah, I didn't have a whole lot of sympathy for him either. So, uh, that was just weird, too, like, the whole sex scene with, like, the chick pushing on his ass to try to get him to fuck harder or better? I don't know. So there you have it. Um, that was the movie Midsummer, and uh, Ari Aster is a genius and a crazy genius probably. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this reaction video. Um, let me know in the comments what other movies that you think I should watch and react to um, next. This one has been on my list for forever, so even though I do have a few more um, I have in mind to watch, um, I'm always open to ideas. Hopefully nothing too stupid. Like, that's the thing for me. is like, I can't just watch, like, torture porn or, like, um, you know, like, just blood and gore. Like, I, I like interesting horror, and I like creepy horror that, like, you know, gets into your subconscious and is, like, upsetting. So, um... Uh, yeah, that's way better to me. I do have on my list, somebody said I need to see, um, The Apostle and, um, something, something about Hannah Grace, I think, is what I was supposed to watch next, but, uh, but anyways, if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please go ahead and do so, and I will just see you guys in the next reaction video. Bye-bye!